guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I cannot believe 2020 is finally here. I hope you guys had a fantastic New Year's. Um, I am filming this on the first day of 2020, so I'm super excited to get some fresh videos out for the new year. So to start things off, I have a little mini Ulta haul for you guys. So I did some Christmas shopping, of course, over Christmas break, and yeah, I just picked up some things from Ulta, and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. So I have my Ulta bag here with me. I am just going to open it up and pull things out randomly, basically. Okay, so first things first. I got these Sally Hansen waxing strips. So these are super good. They work awesome. They are super easy to use and they're also really affordable. So can't say anything better about um, these wax strips. I use these basically for like touching up my around my brows, my lip, and other discreet areas. Um, that needs some attention uh, because I basically shave everything else then. But some things just are easier to remove with wax. So these are really easy to use. Um, can't say that they're not painful because you're waxing. <laughs> um, so, so there is some pain, of course, with it, but it's just not that bad. Um, it's You don't have, um, what is it, like basically wax. It's just strips, so you want to warm it up either in your hands or you can kind of stick it near like a warm surface to kind of warm it up because that'll make it work a lot better and stick to your skin better. Uh, and you want to make sure the area that you're applying it to is clean and dry. And next, I also picked up a fresh duo lash adhesive. So these are for strip lashes, clearly. Um, and this is the dark one, so it goes on dark and it dries dark, um, clear or whatever, um, but I prefer this over the white because I feel like sometimes it doesn't dry clear uh, and it's a lot, it's just a lot better to mask and uh, I don't always feel the need to go back over my strip lashes with like a cream eyeliner or anything like that because it's just already a dark color that when it dries. Okay next I picked up my favorite <clears throat> mascara of all time. Guys, I've tried so many mascaras from the drugstore and there's nothing like the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is the pink tube. I just get it in blackest black. It has like a little curved tip, so it helps flare your lashes out. But I've just found that this does the best job for my lashes with lengthening, no clumping. It flares them out. It does everything I want it to. And it's like eight bucks at the drugstore, so you can't beat that price. So got a fresh tube, and thank goodness because my other mascara the falsies, which I was currently using, uh, just to switch things up, but that was like bone dry, so definitely needed another mascara. Next, I got this dry shampoo from Herbal Essences. It was on clearance, and it's a mini size because I rarely pick up full sizes of dry shampoos because I find that some of them just don't work for me. Um, I'm, I have a very picky scalp. I will still be oily, my hair sometimes flakes and get, gets dry, so dry shampoo irritates my scalp sometimes. So I'm trying this guy out. It smells pretty good. Um, you know, I, I already sprayed it a little bit in my hair to just see how it was, and it seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm on like fourth day hair right now, and I think it's doing a pretty decent job. Um, yeah, I could definitely smell some alcohol when I sprayed this, which is the second ingredient, which isn't the best for you. So I might just run this, you know, I just might, you know, run this bottle out and then just try to find a healthier version of the dry shampoo. But yeah, I mean, it seems to be working so far. So yeah. And then I was on the market for uh, a shampoo. I needed to pick a fresh one up. I have never heard of this brand before. It's called... Unwind by Hask, and it's a gloss boss shampoo. So I was really eager to try it. Um, and it says it has grapeseed oil and wine extract. And I'm a wine enthusiast myself, but this is the white wine formula. 
It smells really light, really fresh, nothing too perfumey, which I kind of like. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if this is anything good yet, but what caught my eye was it was on clearance for $4, originally $8, and it's free of sulfates, parabens, and artificial colors, which is amazing for your hair because there's nothing worse than sulfates when it comes to shampoo. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a review on how this guy works, let me know. Next, I picked up my favorite, favorite heat protectant. This is the Tresemme Heat Tamer, and this is like, maybe like my 20th, or not my 20th bottle, that's an exaggeration, but I've been using this since I was in high school straightening the crap out of my hair. Remember those days? Um, we're finally out of that decade, it's crazy, but I used to straighten my hair a lot when I was like 14, because I wasn't into embracing my natural hair texture, but this guy really saved my hair from so much damage. It's heat protected up to 450 degrees, you should never put that much heat on your hair, but this is going to do so many good things for your hair um, to prevent it from getting damaged. And it has a really nice spritz to it, covers a lot of area, so yeah, it was just about time for me to pick another one up because I cannot live without it. I picked up this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I have used the NYX one in the past and I absolutely loved it. I love micellar cleansing waters. This is the Rose Water and Glycerin one. So obviously it caught my eye because um, it's a huge bottle. It'll probably last me at least a year uh, and this just helps get off that last layer of makeup. I just like to put this on a common round and just go back over my face after cleansing it one more time to just get any other, you know, leftover stubborn makeup on my face off and you'll be surprised what this stuff picks up. It's incredible. So I haven't used the Garnier one yet, so I'm really curious to see how I like this one. I picked up two um, more makeup items. So this is the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. This is the matte and poreless one because I'm normal to oily skin. So I picked this up in 118 light beige. It looks a little bit dark for me, but I'm going to try to start self tanning a little bit um, with like the Saint Tropez. Uh, so I'm trying to get my skin tone a little bit darker than it normally would be. I use, I don't have it uh, around with me, but I use, I think it's the 115 ivory one and it's so light and I feel like if I mix those two together maybe, I'll get the perfect shade. So yeah, I love this this foundation. It's super affordable, it works really well. It goes on so nicely. It's just one of my favorite foundations and it's the one that I, I found myself grabbing uh, just more than any others in the past. And last, I picked up the new uh, Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. I was dying to try these because um, I heard so many good things about it and I have the super stay um what is it the matte ink uh lipstick gloss thingies so this is supposed to be a no transfer uh lip pigment or whatever you call it um it looks like a crayon and i already tried this one out too just to see how it was and it, it glides like butter it is amazing and it's true there's no transfer uh you can wear this all night which i need it so badly for a red lipstick because if you've ever worn red lipstick it is like the number one culprit to get everywhere all over your face on your clothes on your cups on your food and just everywhere it is so hard to keep red lipstick on your lips so this is a godsend and it's not that outrageous it's like nine bucks which i think is worth it because uh, I'll probably be using it uh, quite a bit. So yeah, that is basically it guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, let me know uh, if you guys went shopping and if there are any products that you recommend me to pick up. But yeah, this is just uh, a fun little haul that I did and I have so many fun videos for you in the future so you definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss out. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you're having a fabulous new year so far. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.